Welcome again to the Medical Terminology Podcast. This episode is Chapter 5, Part 2, Cardiovascular Anatomy. As we talked about in the first part of this chapter, the cardiovascular system is composed of three major parts, the heart, the vessels, and the blood. First of all, let's look at the anatomy of the heart. The technical term for the heart is the myocardium, M-Y-O-C-A-R-D-I-U-M. This term is composed of the word parts myo, M-Y, slash O, cardio, C-A-R-D-I, slash O, and the suffix um. Put together, this means the muscle, the heart, noun ending. So basically it's the noun that means heart muscle. Surrounding the heart is a sac that is called the pericardium. P-E-R-I-C-A-R-D-I-U-M. If you parse that term, it makes perfect sense. Peri, P-E-R-I hyphen, is a prefix that means around. Cardio, C-A-R-D-I-O, again, refers to the heart. And the suffix hyphen U-M means noun ending. So again, we have noun ending surrounding the heart. So that describes the pericardium, which is the sac that surrounds the heart. Now, the heart itself actually has three layers to its muscular tissue. First of all, there's the epicardium, E-P-I-C-A-R-D-I-U-M, which is the outer layer. And again, that makes sense because epi would mean above or outer. Then there's the central muscular area, which is the myocardium itself, M-Y-O-C-A-R-D-I-U-M, and then there's the in, inner layer, the endocardium, E-N-D-O-C-A-R-D-I-U-M. And again, by looking at the prefix endo, that means inside or within, that tells us what that term means. So here again, you can see how the word parts really help us. Okay, well that describes the heart muscle itself. Now inside the muscle, there are a lot of parts to the heart that make it work. And it's very difficult to separate what these things are from what they do. In the textbook, there is a diagram that shows you the internal parts of the heart. And we also have a table 5.1 that describes the process of circulation through the heart and that exp explains basically what these different parts do. If you understand what they do, it's much easier to understand how they fit together and what the terms are. Now before we get into that circulation process and what the parts inside the heart are and what they do, I'm gonna skip ahead and talk about blood vessels because blood vessels are integrated with the heart. We need to know a little bit about the blood vessels. There are three types of blood vessels. The first one is the artery, A-R-T-E-R-Y. And an artery is a blood vessel that carries oxygenated blood. That means it has oxygen in it, oxygenated blood, away from the heart out to the body tissues. Now there's an exception to that I'm gonna talk about, but generally speaking, Arteries away, think of it that way, arteries away from the heart. Now veins, V-E-I-N-S, do the opposite. Veins carry blood towards the heart. And with one exception, the veins carry deoxygenated blood. That is blood where the oxygen has been used up. Finally, we have the capillaries which go in between the two. Capillaries, C-A-P-I-L-L-A-R-I-E-S, are very small vessels. They're one cell thick. And these allow 
the exchange of materials between the cells and the blood plasma. It's within the capillaries that oxygen is transported to the tissues, that nutrients are transported to the tissues, and that carbon dioxide and waste products are carried away from the tissues. And at that point where that transfer occurs, the arteries are going into the capillaries, carrying stuff in, and then the transfer occurs, and then when it starts to get carried back to the heart, then we have the veins. The veins start carrying the material, the waste products, back towards the heart.